Nyanza is the oldest town ever established. You can see Nyanza. And we decided to walk so that we can see the place. What's up guys? Another day, another moment for us to see Rwanda. Today we are taking you to Nyanza town in Nyanza district, which is in the southern province of Rwanda. This is the oldest town ever in Rwanda. The oldest. It was also the capital of the last kingdom of Rwanda. And the king's royal palace is also here. So we are going there, we will see what we see, and we'll show you things. But first, we go to the Kigali center. That is the bus rank, Nyabugongo. We take a bus, we are going to show you what happens. We are leaving Nyabugoro for Nyanza, where there's the King's Palace. Anya. So guys, we did. We went to Nyabugoro last part, and uh, we are going to. Instead of taking a bus, we took a private car, like a a, a car better to choose. And now we are on our way to near the a southern province, Nyanza. Is I don't know what I'm doing here. You can see outside people are hustling. There's Boda Boda. So we are going to Nyanza. We are looking at Upad. Nyanza is the oldest town in Rwanda. Nyanza has the key to Palace. We'll see you there. We've arrived in Nyanza. We are in Nyanza district. Town. It's this is clean. the town. It's clean. Beautiful. Eh? Let me show you guys. I don't know nation. This is Nyanza. 
So we want to go around the town and then just see the town for some time and then we go to the palace and maybe grab some lunch because it's already lunch time. Oh there's equity. Ah okay. We are home. Yeah. So I try to turn back it over. Yeah we need to walk just it's just a short distance to the town. We were dropped off by the road. You can see the big bus pass. That one is coming from Nyabuko. What's up guys? We are now in Nyanza, Nyanza town. Here. Nyanza town in Nyanza district of the southern province of Rwanda. Yes. Fun fact about Nyanza town. This is the oldest town in Rwanda. It existed in the 18th and it's who it also hosts the royal kingdom palace yes the royal kingdom palace the last king lived in that palace in 1899 that was the last the last kingdom of rwanda this is the royal capital nyanza is the oldest town ever established you can see nyanza but now you we're walking to the town we were dropped somewhere on the road and we decided to walk so that we can see the place it's beautiful it's green it rains a lot there are a lot of trees so we're on the way to enter the town. Uh, we're on the way entering the town and we are going to show you how the town looks like the oldest town in rwanda nyanza nyanza is the uh, oldest town in Rwanda. And to make matters even better, there's a kingdom, yeah? There's a kingdom because being the oldest town, it was the royal capital uh, at Lotus. So here lived princesses and princes and queens of Rwanda. Yeah. At some point yeah, in time. So let's go and see what we find there. Right here. Morocco, Let's see if it tastes like um, the Kenyan one. Drinking water? Yes. How much? Oh, you have Kenyan. Uh, 50. Each? Mm. Mm. First, we have to go to the to Look at how Nyanza is. Actually, the whole of uh, Rwanda is this steep. Look at this. Hmm? People are farming down there. And now Nyanza. Nyanza is so beautiful. They have beautified it. And look at us here. Walking into oblivion. Like Nyanzanians. Walking into oblivion. Yes. to enter happy. After a bit of hills and a bit of corners, we are here. This looks like a mosque that they are constructing. Something that I've noted is there are a lot of Muslims here. In fact, they are, they are greeting is Salam. Salam Aleikum. Yeah, this Salam. There's even school children uh, wearing the hijabs. Eh? This is it. 
Yeah, they are like we have seen like two mosques on the road and a lot of Muslim girls and boys. And then there's this. We are constructing a mosque. You see? After a bit of hills and a bit of corners, we are here. We are almost reaching the town. These are the public transport that we are using. This bus. Look at this place. It's so cool. Look at the Rwanda is always off. clean, clean, clean. Even Although, the though there are people who are working at the other side. That's the number of the house. And imagine it's a village town and it's full of dustbins. So, do you? So, hmm? so, do you? so it's, uh, it's, it's all about taking, taking responsibility and the government providing the amenity. Like dustbins, it's very narrow. That's my problem with that side. So look, kids are coming out of school because it's a one. Let me show you the time. It's one of five on my dumb. Um, okay, I hope you are seeing it's one of five. And here we are. We need to hurry up. We we will at least take a motorbike somewhere so that we can hurry up. Yeah, so that we can reach the King's Palace before the night end uh, is here. Okay? But we will show you everything. Is uh, NATO? Yeah. This is Nyanza town, the oldest town. This is Bismillah. No, I'm a And if you you Hello. This is the oldest town in Rwanda itself. Wherever the king, oh, this is the king's town. The king's town, eh? This is uh, the king. Bismillah. I'm a sema I'm a sema Altec. Oh, I think near Altec. Mm. Chakula kinaitwa jina kinyarwanda. Fasalo. 
ama alikuwa anasema iba Guys, we are looking for a restaurant here in, in Nyanza, and they are now serving breakfast. Which countries have never seen this? A bike? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Even in Kenya, we carry things with bikes like this. Yeah. Only that nowadays these are motorbikes. Now, not right, your bike right. there to be extended. Yeah. So this is where we are going to have our lunch. Our like Kindi coffee shop. Kindi, eh? Kindi, deep fried beef with the demi grease sauce. This is the special on the menu of the two. Mm. Watermelon and cream in 5,000. Yeah, there's potatoes. Please, we didn't carry. Please, please, we didn't carry. It's a cool to your main course. Five thousand. Now, okay, okay, they have a menu. My question was, do they only serve this? No, it's a menu. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so main course, eh? Main course dishes. Mm -hmm. I want something Rwanda. Ruan. I want something Rwanda. Rwanda. Kitu ya Rwanda. Kitu Kitu ni ugali. Ah, ugali ni ya Kenya. <laughs> Matoke. Ah, okay. Maragwe. Beans. Beans. I yeah. know. Oh, don't have beans. <laughs> Na nini? Na ile maziwa ya Swami. Swami. Ile maziwa, ile maziwa ya King. Na ile sauce. Mushrooms. <laughs> 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 Ivumbi Mutano. Ivumbi Vitano. Ivumbi Vitano. Mami, Lazima to Angalie. Inaputa mushroom sauce. I'm on the same. Mm. Uh, in a mushroom sauce. So chicken the fried ham and boiled ham stew. 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 Na beef ni stew. Okay, ni pe chicken. Chicken na na wali. Ina kuta pamoja kamchere kau kau kachipo kama ida tu dikula. Na kuja pamoja. Kasava bread ni ugali ya kasava. Minatakas <laughs> 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 African tea. African tea. You need chai, ya kawaida, ya maziwa. Amna maziwa ile. 
ile ya kuweka ina ganda kidogo kama yogurt kama yogurt eh yeah. lakini si yogurt ile maziwa ya kutengeneza ice cream ah ah maziwa mara najua amna na sio si ni chakula cha kirwanda sana ile eh ni hapana eh ni sawa hiyo tunangocha how long um kama mkekuwa na hiyo maziwa ningefurahia kama mnako na nini banana wine nataka banana wine So guys we are waiting for our food eh? it's Nyanza. Kuna nishika hii. Nyanza. Yuko ni wapi? Nyanza. Na Kings Fish. Kings. King Kindi. So guys, our Nyanza the oldest town in in Rwanda it's now. We see you in the next one on the King's Palace. So guys, our food is here. Look at this is this is my food. So this beef and some something very nice some vegetables with peas meat and some vegetables with and the cassava bread actually it's the ugali cassava ugali yeah? we eat it this one has some nikama mahindi no mm -hmm. very nice mm -hmm. it has the cassava smell eh? so let us eat it's um it's in sankapi fine mm -hmm. yeah for to do Actually, this one. It's almost 5 and we need to get to Kigali which is like 2 hours. Yeah. So you'd, we need to this one you don't need to chew. You just swallow. No, you can swallow. You can you, you can, can chew. swallow. You cannot. Mimi na swallow. Hmm. Yeah, inaenda. Ni kama It's because you don't have teeth. Ni kama what Nigerians but I don't have teeth. Ni kama Nigerians and Canadians. I'm fact it's very sweet even without without uh, what they call for food. Oh no ma'am. Then it's gluey. Ebo onyesha vile inafa. Naona. Ngiza pale. Nimo try ha. It's some beef stew. Okay. Nyonyesha. Mmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. So guys, let us eat. We see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.